I'm blessed, brother. 2022, you know, top of the year. How your new year been going so far? I ain't complain about a thing, and I never start. Everything is 100%, 1,000%, million percent blessed, you know? I feel it, I feel it. I tell you, you know what I'm saying? For the people who don't know, who are familiar with you, tell them where you're from. Where exactly um, are you from? I'm from, I'm, I'm born and raised in Broward County, Florida, you feel me? A lot of Dale, a lot of Dale Lakes, Mount Rose, Deep Side. Oakland 441, all that, but I reside here in Orlando. I've been here for the longest. A lot of people probably think I'm from Orlando, but I, I've been here for a very long time. So, like, this is my second home for real. You feel me? But I'm from Florida, man. You know, I'm from I'm from everywhere. You just going ahead run up. Like, what that was like for you? Uh, let me see. Like, 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 single, single parent lifestyle, that kind of vibe. You know, mom, sister in the house, only man in the house, me. Uh, big bro, you know, uh, go get her, gotta go get it, you know, we had everything we needed, but not everything we wanted, so still had to, you know, double up and triple up and make it work, you feel me, so 100%, you know, hustler type of vibe, uh, go get it type of vibe, you know, run what, it up type of vibe. What you was doing as a kid, to, you know what I'm saying, hustle, like what, what you was getting into? Uh... A little bit of everything, so I started hustling probably like around, around, around sixth grade, no, around fifth grade that summer, cause I remember specifically cause uh, sixth grade was about to start, you know, I had to get fresh and mom wasn't trying to, not as she wasn't, she couldn't, you know, get me right, right, like how I wanted to get right, so I had to go get my own money, so I could get my forces and my Jabos and my and my 4X, 3X T's and then you know get fresh so I can, you know, look good for first day of school. So I started hustling like fifth grade, that's that fifth grade summer. We was doing a little bit of everything, you feel me? I already know. Yeah. You know, like, like me personally, I used to do the candy shit, you know what I'm saying? I did the candy, candy school, I, I did the candy but. thing, the so I was the first person and the people might not what you mean you felt like I was the first person selling Honey buns, uh, so Reese's, yeah. Sprites, Coke, 50 Cent. I was the first person in my school selling snacks, making a profit, making $10, $15 um, a day. You feel, I was the first person doing that. My mom would take me to go re-up at the little Sam's, at the little BJ's, and we'll buy it in bulk, and then we'll take it to the schoolhouse and sell it. You feel me? Um... Then I got a little more greedy. I wanted to maximize my profit. So we stopped going to the BJs and the Sims. And I started getting it lower. I ain't gonna say high, <laughs> but you already know. Grabbing them things, taking it to the schoolhouse, making $20, $30 profit now because we didn't have to pay for it. You feel me? So that was sixth grade. That was sixth grade. But before we got to middle school, like I said, fifth grade summer, we was more in the streets with it, like trying to double up and triple up. You know, we was right. doing a little bit of everything, illegal activities. Bigger licks, bigger licks. Yeah, yeah. Well, smaller licks, bigger licks ain't start the high school, right. view, but smaller licks. But we was trying to run in and run out and and like folk know what's up. Like they ain't saying too much right. and you know. But yeah, we were running around and doing this and doing that, trying to trying to get home before the street lights and all that kind of you know. 